Hello everybody and welcome to Dante Armas Tech and I hope you're doing well and today we're going to be checking out a new lavier mic set from a company called Photowell and their WM200. Now I have tested some budget lavier mics in the past which you can find those in the link in the description down below but this isn't a cheap set and I will explain to you at the end how much it costs and if it is for you as a beginner on YouTube. But what we're going to do today is unbox it all, show you what you get and then obviously take it out for a test. So let's unbox the kit and show you what you get and up first is going to be the user manual. Now this is going to tell you everything that you need to know about this product. Moving on over and we're going to get into the kit itself. So up first you do get two transmitters. Now these are actually lightweight, they're really really nice design with this little screen here. And you do get a set so you can set the channels by using the plus and the minus by holding that in. And you do get the on and off button. Now on the side you've got on and off for your low cut. So this is going to be when you're outside. And you've also got this little tray here. Now this tray here is going to hold two AA batteries and it just slides in and out without an issue. And you've also got a charging port on the side if you are using rechargeable batteries. And like I said, you do get two of them and the other one is just here as well. So they're actually really, really nice looking, really, really sort of small. And you get your clips on the back so you can clip them to your trousers or your belt or whatever you'll be using at the time. So obviously channel A and channel B, those are going to be perfect. So moving on to the receiver up next. And the receiver is just a bigger version of the transmitters. And again, you've got a nice little display. You've got your set to be able to change your channels using the plus and minus. The plus and minus also work for the volume, as I said before. Your on and off button. And again, the same little tray on the side for AA batteries. Now, moving on to the top, and you've got two ports for antennas. That's going to be brilliant, obviously, if you're using both lavier mics at the same time. And you've also got a headphones in and a phone out. So the out is going to be if you're connecting it to something like a camera or a mobile phone anything like that and the headphones is obviously if you're going to be plugging in headphones now on the side of the receiver you have got st and you have got mix now st is a dual channel independent output and mix is a dual channel mixed output so yeah really really nice designs moving on over to the accessories however so you have got a cold shoe mount now this cold shoe mount just clips onto the receiver pretty easy onto the back clips here you just put it on squeeze them together and it should just connect without any trouble and you're going to be able to clip that to the back of a camera. Moving on, and you've got your two antennas. Now, again, pretty easy, just a standard. So you just take them out and then screw them onto the receiver. So up next is going to be the Lavier mics themselves. So you just rip open the bag, and there they are. Now, again, they're pretty nice. They do come with a windshield, which is obviously always going to be handy, and this clip to clip them onto your top. Now, you do have this connector, which is a 3.5mm connector, but you also do have a screw on top. All you do is plug it into the top of the transmitter, so it's nice and tight. Then you screw it down, and there you go. It's on there. It's not going to come out, and it's not going to move. And like I said, you do get two of them, and the other one is here. Again, both come with this windshield, and again, both the same design. Other cables that you will need. Now, you have got a biggish cable here. Now, this is going to be your 3.5mm cable, which is going to be to an XLR. So again, same here, you can just plug this into a power bank and you can use one of these mics for voiceovers and podcasts. Although we will try and test it out to see if it actually works and to see if it's actually any good. Now I did do a voiceover for one of my videos recently and I did use the Uhuru condenser microphone set, which is the XM900. So we will test to see what this is like against that. If you're using a phone for any recording, you do get this little cable here. Now this cable is again, three and a half millimeter if we can get it open three and a half millimeter jack which is there and then obviously a little port on the end here as well so this is going to be able to plug into a microphone so three and a half millimeter there to a lightning bolt connection if it's a iphone and obviously any other connector if it's going to be android and so on and so forth and the last cable which you're going to need is your three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter and again this is going to that side clip into wherever it's gone there the transmitter, or the receiver, sorry, you just screw it down. Once it's in place, this 3.5mm jack then connects into your camera and you can use this for recording. So with all that said, what we're going to do now is take it on outside, test it, see what the range is like, because they do say this is up to 300 foot or 100 meters, and see what the interference is like as well when I'm in the car or when I'm outside. And obviously the range will be shorter if you're obstructed by any obstacles. So then guys, I'm now out in the car. Obviously the seat belt is up against the lavier mic, which is just here. Seat belt is here. Always remember to wear your seat belts. 
and we're actually going to go on our way to test to see what this is like actually in an industrial estate now the reason i've chosen an industrial estate to check is because there's loads of buildings loads of interference and well you know could cause a slight issue with the microphone but we'll see what it looks like when we get there um, obviously i've got my phone in the car that could obviously be interference as well so we'll see what that is like So I've now hit record and I'm walking away from the camera itself. So now I'm probably a good 20 meters from the actual car. As you can see, I'm walking backwards. And yeah, let's carry on. Let's carry on going. Obviously, you won't be filming this far away. This is just to test the distance of the mic. See where I get to. And there you go, I'm 30 meters. So yeah, not a bad microphone overall, I don't think. I quite like it. Just looking at my phone, updating, taking pictures, out in the open on a Sunday. And there you have it guys, I'm now 80 metres from the car, carry on going, see where I get to, Let's see if the microphone there you go guys, about 100 meters from the car. Hopefully you can still hear me. And now I'm walking on my way back. So hopefully the hopefully it sounded good in the car. Now obviously I did put the window down in the car to test to see how the wind would be with the music on as well, to see if you've got any static. And my phone's been next to the transmitter the whole time. So hopefully that hasn't caused any issues for you. And another long walk. Well, I say long walk. Back to the car. So like I said, you won't be filming that far away. 300 foot is quite a long way. 100 metres. But it's good to know that it reaches that distance just in case you were. Or just in case you had a massive lens and you were doing some other sort of video. And now I'm back at the car. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get home, edit this, and I'll give you the conclusion when we get to the end of the video. So then let's talk about when I was at the industrial state. And obviously when I had my back to the receiver, you couldn't really hear me. Up close, it was absolutely fine, but walking away, the transmitter being where it was and the receiver being where it was, didn't really pick up the sound. Now obviously at 100 meters away, you're not really gonna be filming that far. You're mostly gonna be within 10 to 30 yards of a camera and obviously the receiver with the transmitter as well. But on the way back, you could hear me quite clearly, which is actually a massive bonus. Obviously, between those intervals of me walking away, you could hear the stuttering and the clipping of the mic trying to pick up the range and the frequency. I did also try testing this as a voiceover microphone, maybe even podcasting. It didn't really gel too well. If you're going to be doing something like that, you want to pick up the XM900 by Uhuru, which that link will be in the description down below, along with the other wireless Lavier mics that I've used that could fit any budget that you're kind of working to. So yeah, overall, a really good product. Now, obviously, is this going to be for you as a YouTuber if you're a beginner? Well, for the price of £200, probably not. You want to pick up something like the Fine Fine Kero 3 7B or even the Moose Lady one that I reviewed, which both links will be in the description down below. Now, with those, you will have to obviously do a lot of editing through like Adobe or other editing software that you use. However, for a £200 mic kit, it's actually pretty easy. I've edited some of the footage already and I didn't have to adjust too much. Obviously, where I am filming at the moment in this glass conservatory, the frequencies do bounce around and that's where you can hear a bit of static and sometimes a bit of fuzziness within the audio. But obviously, you're going to have to edit any audio that you do with any microphone. But yeah, overall, really, really happy with this product. It's going to be now my daily driver for any audio that I do do, any videos like this. So really, really happy with it. 
and the way I've got it set up at the moment with the field view screen from Nua is actually working pretty well. However, if you wish to find out more about the WM200 by Photowell or any of the other Lavier mics that are reviewed, the links will be in the description down below, so go ahead and check them out. Now they are Amazon affiliate links, so it doesn't cost you anything extra, just gives the channel a bit of a kickback and means I can bring you more videos like this. However, if you wish to go ahead and contact me, then Facebook, Twitter and Discord, those links will be in the description down below as well. But that does it for me today. If you did like the video, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Do share the hell out of this video, it really does help out the channel. And underneath the video, there's a red button that says subscribe. Go ahead and click that and smash that bell icon for more notifications from myself. And like always, I shall see you guys in the next video.